Welcome to Electro Online. Here we're going to calculate the power absorbed by an inductor, in this case a non-ideal inductor, which means it also contains some resistance, such that the impedance of the inductor has a phase angle. And let's assume that we're given that the current through the inductor has a magnitude of 40 amps and a phase angle of minus 45 degrees. So what will be the average power consumed or absorbed by this inductor? And of course, we're going to use this equation right here. The average power is defined by that. That means, even though we're given the current, we will first need to find the voltage. And using Ohm's law, we know that I equals V over Z. From this, we can then conclude that the voltage is going to be the product of the current and the impedance. So let's first calculate the voltage, and then we can go ahead and calculate the average power. So the voltage is going to be equal to I times Z, which is equal to 40 with a phase angle of minus 45 degrees. And we're going to multiply that times 20. Oh, yes, 20 with a phase angle of 30 degrees. So that gives us uh, 20 times 40, which is 800 with a phase angle of minus 15 degrees. All right, so that will be the voltage and of course will be in terms of volts. So now that we have the voltage, we have the maximum amplitude of the voltage and the phase angle, we can now find the average power. So the average power is going to be equal to one half times the maximum current, which can be gotten from here, that's 40, times the maximum voltage, which we can get from here, that's 800, and then times the cosine of the difference between the phase angles, the phase angle of the current, I, is minus 45. And subtract from that the phase angle of the voltage, which is a minus 15. That leaves us with 1 half times, 4 times 8 is 32, with 3 zeros. And then we multiply the times the cosine of minus 15, this negates, that becomes minus 30 degrees, which of course is the same as the cosine of 30. Then with the calculator, we have 30, take the cosine, and multiply it times half of 32,000, that's times 16,000. And that gives us 13,856. So that's 13,856. And the units, of course, is watts. And that will be the average power absorbed by that particular inductor. And that's how it's done.